Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? It's me, Jenny, here. So today is a very different video. It's an important video for me, um, which is why I didn't do my hair or my makeup. God, there's toys are everywhere. Like, I just, it's just a mess. But I feel like the message in this video is more important than everything else. And today is January 31st and I will be uploading this video the same day because I feel like this message is so important. Yesterday, I got a text message from a friend of mine and he had told me that his son had passed away. His son had taken his own life. And I'm saying this with a very heavy heart. I've known the son for a very long time, I would say over 10 years. And out of respect for the family, I will not name any names I will not say his name. I will not even say how he died. All I am saying is that he committed suicide and he was in his early 20s. And he, for his age, was very successful. He had, a, he had accomplished a lot in his life. You know, you would look at him and be like, wow, I wish when I was that age, I did half those things. But he was really hurting inside. And this week, I know was Bell Let's Talk Day. And mental health is very important. It's, it's so important. We live in a society where everything is perfect. You go on social media and good things are only happening, which is great. But there are some people out there who actually believe that there are only good things happening and these people are living perfect lives. And it's like when we're having trouble and we're not okay that we're not allowed to talk about it because how dare we talk about our problems when society makes us believe that everything is perfect and everybody's lives are perfect I want to say this to all of you that it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not be okay. And if you're not okay, and you really aren't okay, please talk to somebody. I don't care who it is. Just make sure it's somebody you trust. And if you don't want to talk to someone that knows you on a personal level, please go get help. It's okay to get help. That's why there are people out there that are licensed to give you help. And my advice for the people that are on the receiving end, I know, I know it's in our soul and it's in our heart to want to give advice because you want to fix the situation. The truth is, Unless if you're asked for advice when someone is expressing their feelings and their emotions to you, don't give it because the best thing that you can do for someone in that situation is actually your ears, just someone to listen to and just stay quiet. Wait till they are done speaking if you feel you need to give them advice because The truth is, is that no matter what you say to that person, the person 
who is feeling so sad is so deep in their head that what you're saying is most likely ineffective to the situation. However, if you just give them an ear so they can talk and let it out and hug them, that is more than you can ever imagine. That it means more to that person than you can ever know. And that is my video for today. Next week, I will resume normal videos as scheduled, but I felt like today I needed to talk about this. So I will end it right here and I will see you next week.